Hi everybody, it's Simon here. I'm the creative surgical master. I'm here in Costa Rica uh, with one of my good friends, Dr. Adi Lorian from Israel. He's a very famous oral surgeon in Israel. And he's actually the one who invited me to this conference by Adin Dental Implant, actually the Adin Group. Thank you for inviting me. Thank and you for coming. Yeah, finally, great to meet you in person. And I enjoyed your presentation. Thank you. And especially the innovation. So I wanted to spend a few minutes with you talking about the new things that you presented that I'm very excited about, uh, specifically the machine that beeps. So tell me a little bit about it. All right. That. So the machine that beeps, it's actually an instrument used in orthopedic surgery with a great success for the last 10 years. Over 80,000 surgeries, spine surgeries. How many surgeries? 80,000. 80,000. Okay, 80, we, we, we don't have this in dentistry. No, no, but it's over 10 years. Wow. So it's a very reliable instrument which is used on a daily basis all over the world from the United States to China and it's actually a tool that implements a very special patented technology which uses bone impedance in order to measure and to get a feedback from the structures that you go in. So, so for, the, for most of the dentists out there, they don't understand so much okay. what we are talking about. So basically, this is a surgical tool. This is a surgical to, tool. In dental implants that creates, helps us create an osteotomy. Exactly. But it, it has a, I'm just trying to understand if I, if I understood it correctly. It has a feedback system that is visual and auditory. And auditory. auditory. Exactly. And allows us to progress with the osteotomy while giving us signals. When does it beep and what is the difference between the different frequencies? So, the instrument will beep every time that you change the density of the structure that you penetrate. Okay. Which means that in the cortical bone, you have a low pitch, low cadence. Okay. In the medullar bone, you have a medium cadence with medium pitch. And of course, before breaching any spaces like or the sinus, nerves, like, like the, the, like the floor the sinus. Like the sinus, exactly, you will have a very high pitch which is actually not the bridge itself but it's an alert how, how much how much do we have until we reach the sinus well, this is the good the good news because we're going to have 0 0.3 off a millimeter before the okay, bridge that's amazing I, i'll tell you my experience uh, using conventional osteotomes i drill four or five millimeters i take an x-ray then I see that I have the right direction. Then I drill a little bit more, I take another x-ray. I get to the sinus floor, I take another x-ray. Then I start the lift, I probably take five, six, maybe seven x-rays. That's a huge reduction in the x-ray so amount. You don't, have, you don't have to take x-rays. You don't have to take any intraoperative x-rays because your position okay. and your advancement will get the immediate feedback in real time. Okay. What we call a true anticipation. Can I take it? Uh, you're about to get the FDA approval. Yes, soon. Sure. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking forward to using this tool. I'm looking forward to learning from you how to use it, but it sounds like anybody could use it. It's like you listen and you observe the... Maybe we can demonstrate? Yes, Okay, let's do a little demonstration. Actually, okay. You will see it's very intuitive because okay. we are used to the very... Uh, 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 sort of... Uh, uh, knowing that we, we can use the sound in our uh, in our profession, okay. all of us are trained with the root canal instruments that they beep and alert. That's not for deaf dentists. But it's, it's not for deaf dentists. Not for deaf, deaf and not for blind. But, okay. <laughs> well, maybe for blind, but blind not for deaf. <laughs> but uh, it is very intuitive, very easy okay. to use. Although it looks a little bit bulky. It looks course. like a, it looks like an instrument from the toolbox. Yes, from like, that's uh, true. From that's like true. my house. Because this is from from orthopedic surgery, but of course that we're gonna shrink it and maybe make it very very ergonomic for the dental okay. use. Yeah. This is the next step that we are working on it. Okay. Let's, let's, hear the, let's hear the sounds. Yes, let's, let's, hear the sounds. The let's hear the sounds. So basically, as you open, which you have to activate the device okay. with, you pull out 
a small uh, uh, tap that it's inserted there, and you can see that you already have the screen light working. And as you insert it in a cell line, which is a different medium, you can get a very high pitch. So the high pitch says what? What does the high pitch say? The high pitch, pitch says that you are in a medium which is very low density. Very low density. Low density. So, as you see, we took it out and in the air, you have this type of cadence. Mm -hmm. And as we touch something hard, of course, we can get two different sounds. First is silence, and of course you still have the alert on the green mm -hmm. light, which yep. shows that the actual instrument is active, it's okay. not inactive. It works, it will give you an alert okay. if you change the medium. And as you go and work with it, you'll get this Immediate, you get immediate feedback. You get immediate feedback on where you are. On when you are. So when I get to the sinus floor, what am I going to start hearing? Now let's let's go all the way through. This is from orthopedic surgery, actually okay. those models. So you can see it's a huge chunk of bone. But if you will hear it in a moment, now it's a cortical bone, and as you can hear, we have no sound okay. at all. But pay attention. Now I'm reaching, reaching the supposedly sinus lift or sinus, uh, sinus floor, the membrane, the membrane, and you will hear in a moment the bridge and the difference in sound. I'm still working gently, okay. and then you will hear the bridge. You can hear the bridge already. Yeah, and so that's a sound we don't want to hear. This is the sound actually that we want to hear. Okay. This is the alert. It's okay. a real time Just alert. The alert. And if you look at it, it's almost it's almost there. It's almost there, but okay. not there. Excellent. It's Excellent. not there. Okay. But this is the signal for the surgeon. Okay, stop. We reach the place. Okay. Now, if you breach, you can hear the alert increasing, increasing. Yeah, no, don't do it. Don't do it. And okay. look, yeah, we don't want to breach it. Not yet. Okay. Trust me, no, I'm this, a surgeon. This, I know, I know. That's why I, I'm giving you But you can advice. see the feet beautifully. Okay. No, this Just is a great idea. It's very, very clear. What I'm thinking is if we can uh, use this device to train dentists, because uh, one of the main reasons, and I, you know, both of us teach thousands of dentists every year on how to do sinus lifts. And most of the dentists that we work with, they're scared. You know, they want to—they don't want to perforate the membrane. If we could just teach them to listen, listen. So don't just do, but listen to the sounds. You can avoid the perforation. Zip, this will be the sound of implantology. I like the sound. It's music. It's music. It's music. This, this will be the music so of the sinus. Thanks for sharing. Great to see you. Great I appreciate to see all the information. You. Look forward to using this. Thank this is you. Dr. Steve Simon from Costa Rica, uh, creator of surgical master. We'll talk to Adil Oreyes. Thank you so much.